Guys, can you feel the energy? Can you feel the electricity? Can you feel the excitement? The buzz in this arena is absolutely nuclear. We are going to see some incredible action, some scores to be settled, and some people getting beat up real bad. Looking at tonight's card, we really do have all hands on deck for this one. These superstars are fixing to get up close and personal with the fans. Falls count anywhere match. Up next. Up next, I expect things to get completely out of control. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Balls count anywhere, guys. Man. Let's get this action underway. Matches oh, like man. this rarely end inside the ring, which is what makes them so unpredictable. Drop down. Leapfrog. Oh, that's the impact. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, what a chop block. For my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane Rani. Speaking of that classic Charlotte Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the Women's Championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget the image of Charlotte tapping out to that unique bank statement in the crowd, surrounded by the WWE Universe. Oh, what a man on him. Looks like he's starting to falter. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. He has to remember that Falls Count Anywhere in this match. And given his condition right now, he may fall victim to that sooner than later. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Real quick, in case we have any... He's not looking like himself here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. It looks to me like he took his foot off the gas there for oh. a moment. When that happens, you run the risk of letting your opponent back into the match. Oh boy, he is rolling. Yeah. Oh, what impact. This could be all she wrote. Powerball. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Absolutely punishing. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. I got to tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. For more than 20 years, Monday night has been the premier night in all of sports entertainment. And you can bet tonight will surely live up to the lofty standards. So much force there. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Whoa, a little shove. You know, these guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. Oh boy, he is rolling. Shoved right off. What a match! Oh, oh no. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Super kick! Here's his moment, Michael. Whack! Michael, that has new meaning to have a seat. What a match! He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Oh. Vertical suplex! Nice! Oh, 
shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Whack. Michael, well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration time. We've got a raucous crowd here in Philadelphia tonight, but what else would you expect after playing home to ECW for so many years? Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's got the shoulders down. This guy just refuses to quit. This is amazing. You. Vicious attack. Looks like sets up for a suplex. Going to finish things off. Oh my goodness. You got to wear your opponent down. Find that little weakness that could help you end up with a victory. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Here we go a second time. Harsh impact. That should do it. Beautiful technique. There can only be one top dog here in the WWE. And a win here will go a long way in solidifying one of these guys' claims of being the best in the business. Look. These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. Ooh. Who knows what's going to happen? This match could go anywhere. Thank you for choosing to watch WWE on this Monday night. We promise to bring you a great night of action. Just when you thought he had nothing left. A second time. One, two, three. The WWE is the gift that keeps on giving. Next, singles action on tap right now. Fringe making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in what at 225 pounds. The ultra violent oh, the referee needs to get control of this. Yeah, that didn't take long. He's gonna have to 
cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Boom! <laughs> Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, what impact! There it is. Did you hear that crap? Suplex. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Lightning fast reflexes. Oh, what a knee lift. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect flex. That should do it. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Look out! Shoulders on the mat. Real close. Too close for comfort. Not yet. Showing off 
some of his speed there. Oh, he's such a tough target. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. There's a lot of force behind that one. And Ambrose is rolling now, Michael. You gotta believe this one's over. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night. Especially Roman Reigns. Back in the ring again. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe. Even more difficult to contain. Oh. <laughs> There it is. Did you hear that crack? I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? Devastating kick. And it's Ambrose showing some agility. Right between the eyes. Devastating elbow. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Oh, show no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, boy, he is wrong. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Serious damage. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Over and over. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one. And it's Ambrose showing some agility. Beautiful technique. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Incredible. There's a lot of force behind that one.
Oh boy, he is rolling. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. deserves another look. Here we go. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Oh, I can't believe this. These fans got their money's worth in this one, as you can see right here. Here is your winner, Dean Ambrose. Well, that one was over before it even started. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive one. Not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect flex. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? That'll readjust your spine. The lunatic fringe has him right where he wants him. Bang. Dirty deeds. This one's over, guys. In case you're keeping score, that's twice, Byron. Dean Ambrose is an absolute master at playing mind games. The rest of the card should be every bit as good as the last match, too. It's about to get extreme up in here. The knockout artist, Cassius Ono's here. Yeah. 
making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Cassius Ono. Cassius Ono, a true student of the game, constantly improving, traveling the world to better his craft. Cassius is a dangerous man. One of the best strikers in the game can also brutalize you with incredible technique. Cassius Ono is a tough, tough human being. He is so excited to be here tonight. He pays great attention to detail, especially when it means manipulating the human anatomy. A technical wizard from Philadelphia, Drew Gulak is a force to be reckoned with in the cruiserweight division. A true broad street bully. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. Rollins thrives and is driven by people doubting him, by people saying that he can't do something. Rollins will do it just to silence him. Uh, here comes Mr. Boring. Mr. Boring? This guy's got no personality, Byron. And from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 220 pounds, Brian Danielson. When's the last time you think this Brian Danielson kid had a date? He looks like the type of guy who would go to his prom alone. You can relate to that, can't you? Well, it's not about me. And listen, I can't speak to Danielson's dating habits, but I'm sure right now, early in his career, he's more focused on honing his craft and learning the business.
Listen to this crowd, guys. They're fired up for this one. As well as they should be, this match has instant classic written all over it. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Ooh. Spinning kick to the gut. Harsh impact. He goes for the cutter. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. See here. So, nailed it. Boom, what impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, what an air. Spun blade. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. And here we go now with the elbow. There he goes, crashing to the floor. for some more of Gulak's ramblings tonight for how he's got a plan for a better 205 Live. I mean, I hope not, but I think it's going to happen. Beautiful technique. He's got him covered. And an early kick out. That's too early for that. Ooh, what impact. <laughs> oh, man! Byron mentioned Gulak's plan for a better 205 Live, whether it's been picket signs or slideshow presentations on the Titantron. Gulak has been insistent on molding 205 Live into his twisted vision. Well, I think Gulak has some great ideas. All I hear you two do is criticize. If you two have any better ideas on how to make 205 Live better, why don't you guys go make a slideshow? Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. There it is! Did you hear that crack? Oh boy, he is rolling. The oh, Ferrari incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Harsh impact. Back. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Oh, what a German suplex. Saxton at ringside. 
What a knee strike from the King Slayer. Oh, oh. Here's a cover. I'm not sure if the referee didn't blow that call. The knockout artist is now showing that he's also a kick out artist. Well, the architect is rolling now. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Impressive combination kicks. This could be it, guys. Nobody strings together a series of moves better, Cole. Ah, oh, kick out. Just power out. He might have it. Is he done? No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. He's stumbling some now. You can bet this is bad. How he drew this one up. This is one of the more evenly matched contests we've seen in quite some time. From the looks of things, it can really go either way. Oh, man. What have we got here? You got to this one's over. Casasono is not going to like this. Oh, can he finish the job? No fuck, he's feeling invincible right now. He's making a statement here with this attack. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, Casazono is not going to like this. Oh, he may very well have run out of gas. At this point, his confidence has to be at zero. Dance over at this point. This has been one of the most intense back and forth battles I've seen in a long time. Oh, big boost! Just when you thought he had nothing left. No chance. He might just win this thing right here. Can he do it here? He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Too early in the match to end it. He's in control. Oh boy, he is winning. So you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. What a stop! Oh, and he's taken off his feet. I'll tell you, he can't afford to be horizontal at this point. Seth Rollins going for the cover. Oh, the tech trying to end this thing early. Seth Rollins wins. Here's another look at some of the previous action, giving their fans their money's worth and more. Who could forget this? These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your Here footing on a move winner, like that. Come on, Seth toughen up. Rollins. That was a big pinfall victory right there. A very impressive victory for Seth Rollins. The King Slayer. As usual, this Philadelphia crowd is beyond boisterous tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Well, if history is any guide, the next match should be just as good. Throw all the rules out the window because it's time for things to get extreme.
Making his way to the ring from Virginia, weighing in at 297 pounds, the United States Professional Champion, Mr. Cyclone Frick. Byron, tell me, how do you think the champ looks heading into this one? I'm impressed, Michael. Sometimes you see a champion look a little less motivated when the title is not on the line. But that's clearly not the case here tonight. And his opponent, from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 145 pounds, Kirk. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. Hard to be a betting man on this one. These two competitors can be unpredictable. That's what makes this match so intriguing. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Oh, man. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. The moonsault. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Thing. He's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. Got the reversal. Insecurity. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, Look at this. Let's do this. Sun power bomb. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and that's what he was looking for, Michael. Wow, that should be the final blow. You gotta believe this one's over. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. German! Attention! The drama. This is electric.
When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Quick thinking to avoid that one. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He looks a bit off his game here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. No, oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Back between the ropes. Wait a minute. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. Oh my goodness. There's a pin now. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. And last but not least. Here is your winner, Mr. Cyclone Rick. That's an impressive win right there. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. The WWE is the gift that keeps on giving. Next, hear the crowd. They know it's time for things to get extreme.
making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 208 pounds, the Zone Television Champion, Rusekis. And given that it's a non-title match, do you think the champ's approach changes here, Byron? Well, I certainly hope not. If he plans on coasting in this one just because the title's not on the line, I can tell you it's going to be a long night for him. on its way and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off so is social media michael the opening bell hasn't even rung and yet both these superstars are already trending Saxton here to call what will surely be a highly contested matchup. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. Struck. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. This might be it. Oh, my. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John Cena manhandled like he was on that night. Yeah, Lesnar definitely brought it to Cena that night. But what's truly amazing is that John Cena eventually found a way to win that match. We know what's coming. technique. Nobody does it. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Only a two count. He's got some more fight in him, guys. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Oh, shows no mercy. in that poor chair? It looks like a twisted heap. Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. 
putting it all on the line. Look out! There it is. Did you hear that crack? Going to the top, high risk. <laughs> Going all the way up. Oh no, we know what this is. First impact. This is all but over. The shoulders are down. Two. And a kick out. Gonna take more than that. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Oh! When this guy's on, look out. No mercy in that poor chair. It looked like a twisted heap. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free for all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. And unfortunately, matches like this usually result in. And now, one more time. Boom! This one is over. Here's the cover. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here is your winner, Bruce Aiken. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. What? Look at that in a second time. It's dropping 450. Game, set, match. This one is over. More often than not, that marks the end of the match. One match is in the books, and we're on to the next. Singles action coming your way.
making her way to the ring from England, the Women's United States Champion, the Queen. Seeing Big as the title is Hill. not on the line tonight, Corey, do you anticipate motivation being an issue for the champ? Are you kidding me, Cole? Not only do I expect motivation to not be an issue for her here tonight, but I also expect her to wipe the floor with her opponent. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. And we're ready to get this Falls Count Anywhere match underway. And the beauty of this Falls oh, Count man. Anywhere match means we might just have the deciding fall take place right here in front of us. High-impact crossbody. To the outside where she has all the time in the world to do what she needs to do. In that poor chair, it looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy. In that poor chair, it looks like a twisted heap. Ooh, what impact. Keep your eye on this one. And she comes up short. If you're going to leave your feet, you got to make sure you're going to land the move. She has much gas left in her tank, guys. And I'd say the longer this match goes on at this point, the more of her chances of winning diminish. All right, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Suplex. This one is over. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Beautiful technique. 
Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look out! Oh, elbow drop! Oh, piercing elbow. She goes for the cover. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. You gotta believe this one's over. This is going to be big, one way or another. Look at this. We're looking at complete domination here. She might have it. What an aggressive side slam. That should do it. She missed by at least a foot, Cole. Here she goes, back in the ring now. I see where she's going with this. Corey, pump handle, pump handle coming, vertical suplex. Nice. She's back in full control now. Impact. There goes the official. Not gonna lie, that would hurt. Whoa. She goes for the cover. One, two, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win! Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. Overall, this match was average at best, but not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. Look at her go. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, never quite lived up to all the hype. Good match overall, though. Here is your winner, the Queen, Big Hill. The shoulders were down for three, and this one's in the books. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. As usual, this Philadelphia crowd is beyond boisterous tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Let's go. And now it's time for the match we've all been waiting for, our main event. Singles match coming up next.
making his way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in. Remember, at the title's not on the line here, but I'll be shocked if that the changes the champ's outlook on this match. Champion, I would too, Cole. The champ is a professional. And a true pro goes out there and gives 100% every single time, regardless of the situation. From Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 174 pounds, the professional Loki. Guys, I think we'd all agree that this Falls Count Anywhere match promises to be absolutely electric. Agreed, Cole. Anytime you expand the footprint to go beyond the 20 by 20 ring, a whole new element of intrigue opens up, as we're about to see here tonight. Two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And as we all know, guys, this one can literally end anywhere in this arena. Ouch. Headbutt! Oh, what impact! Oh, man, jarring headbutt. sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. The bionic elbows <laughs> over <laughs> and over. Legendary. He's 
making a statement here with this attack. He lets it go. Yeah, I wonder why. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar world to assault ever does. <laughs> it's the mark. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. He looks absolutely drained right now, guys. This ball count anywhere match has really done a number on him. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. Oh, boy, he is rolling. for the cover. There's the pinfall and the victory. Now is a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. And last but not least, there was this. Here is your winner, Bram. Big pinfall victory here tonight. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. That main event may have raised more questions than provide answers. We'll find out next time. See you soon, everybody. What's this? Well, I think it's about to be a highlight reel. He has him right where he wants him. Are we going to see it? Way up there. There it is! Outsider's edge. Here's his moment, Michael. 